This is a review of Harbor Freight's Drummond 1 8 horsepower super mini transfer pump. I bought this pump about a year ago and I paid $60 for it with a coupon. As of the recording of this video, the pump is selling for $85. The pump uses standard 3 quarter inch garden hose fittings and we use this pump for transferring water from our rain barrel to our storage tank. Now if you're going to do something like that, you're going to require some female to female fittings because the female end of your hose is going to end up at the outlet of the rain tank or the storage tank and that means that the male end of the hose is going to end up at the fittings here so you, what you're going to need is this female to female fitting to adapt the male end of the hose to the male end of the pump and that'll go in here the inlet and the other one will go here at the outlet because the female end will be at your storage tank on the other side. The fittings are available at any Home Depot or Lowe's. I bought these at Lowe's for about two or three dollars a piece. The motor is a brushed motor. The motor is rated for 1 8 horsepower which works out to 0.125 horsepower and one horsepower equals to 746 watts. So at 0.125 horsepower makes this motor a 93 watt motor. The pump is rated for 450 gallons per hour and that works out to seven and a half gallons per minute. The pump kit comes with a reinforced suction hose and a strainer. The strainer is used for dry water from spills on a flat surface or uh, if your basement floods that, that strainer will create a vacuum over a flat surface and draw water from it. The suction hose has a braided wire inside of it and that wire prevents the hose from collapsing from the suction side. So it'll keep your hose open and the flow uh, unrestricted. My suction hose was dry rotted and it split from the sun as I keep it in the greenhouse. The, the hose that came with it split right here and it wouldn't it wouldn't thread anymore so I bought this stainless steel one on Amazon which it, it, it's stainless steel so it won't be dry rotted by the Sun and it won't collapse it on itself so it serves the same purpose now I like to use these hoses because I will attach them to this to the fittings here and that keeps the weight of the garden hose off these fittings because I find that the garden hose gets heavy with the water and it'll pull down on these fittings and I had already split one from the weight so I bought a couple of these and it just keeps the weight off the fittings and it preserves it just makes things more convenient for me as I mentioned before uh, this ho this pump lives in our greenhouse and it's exposed to sunlight heat dust and humidity and it's held up fine and it works every time I found that over the year of owning it, the, the power of the motor and the flow kind of dropped off over the year and I noticed sparks, and not sparks, but arcing inside because I'd run it, you know, at night when I get home, I also, you can see sparks right through, through this little fitting here and it was so bright that you can see the reflection of it down in this mounting plate. So I found that as the, the carbon brushes wear out, the, the spring kind of has a harder time keeping the brushes against the armature of that motor inside. So what I did, I, I unscrewed the caps on each side and I reset the, the carbon brushes. I helped push them further in and immediately I noticed power and flow kind of returned after adjusting those carbon brushes. That's something else to keep in mind. The base on the motor has four mounting holes and each mounting hole has um, grommets or anti-vibration grommets so you can mount this anywhere on a surface on a cart or on your rain tank and uh, that'll provide a stable a stable mount for your for your pump also on the back side of the motor there's a little fan and this fan draws airflow this way from back to front and it'll exhaust out of these vents now, it, what, what, I, what I'm trying to say by this is not to obstruct this intake, especially on a warm day. Because if, you have, if you're running a lot of hose 
on the discharge side, it'll create a lot of head pressure. Or if you're running like an irrigation wand or a sprinkler with a lot of restriction, it'll place a lot of load onto this motor and it tends to get real warm. So make sure that this motor always has adequate airflow. So what did we learn? We learned that Harbor Freight advertises this pump at $450 per minute, gallons per hour. And we filled a five gallon pail in 2.18 minutes. The 2.18 minutes work out to 130.8 seconds. To get the GPM, you, well, yeah. You divide the five gallons into the 130.8, which gives you 0 0.38. You times that by 60 seconds, which gives you 2.29 GPM, gallons per minute. And to get the gallons per hour, you divide, you'd multiply 2.29 into 60 minutes, 60 minutes in an hour and you get 137 gallons per hour. A far cry from 450 GPH. There are a lot of factors. Uh, Harbor Freight might be testing their pumps at the outlet and not at the end of a 25 foot hose. Uh, hoses and pipes have restrictions and a drag coefficient that reduces the uh, efficiency of a pump. We also, the pump was, my pump was hot um, that thermometer. Um, my pump was hot after irrigating the 
this entire garden. It's old. When pump motors get hot, they reduce their efficiency. Uh, they lose their torque and speed. That could be a factor. Harbor Freight might be testing their pumps fresh out of the box in a cool environment. Also, we were pumping uphill. Uh, we were about a foot and a half to two feet and the pump was at ground level and we were up on the tarmac on the patio. Uh, so it's pumping uphill, water has weight, that could have reduced their, the pump's efficiency. Now the, 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 we, we've experienced a decrease in flow, 137 from 450. The decrease formula is the original minus the end divided by the original value. So that would work out to the original is 450 minus 137 being the end by, by, divided by 450 and it is 313. 450 minus 137 is 313 and 450 divided it's uh, uh, you get 0.695 to make that 0.695 into a percent you times it by 100, which equals to 69.5% uh, decrease, decrease in uh, percentage decrease. Now, would I buy this pump again for $85 that they want? Today, I would not, I would not get it again. I would for $60, but not for $85. Uh, the, the pump has a plastic pump housing with plastic fittings that are susceptible to cracking, breaking. Uh, you see the percentage loss of the motor strains. It gets hot. Um, for $60, I would get it just to have a spare. But for $85, uh, I would spend a little more and just get a better pump with a maybe a cast iron housing and a bigger motor and you get more flow. Um, again, take all these numbers with a grain of salt just for entertainment purposes, just to get an idea of what's happening and uh, I appreciate you watching. If you found it interesting, informative, or at least entertaining, um, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.